Howdy folks, welcome back to Silver Run Forest. It's February 2nd, as you can see, we're halfway through the month. And this time I'm not gonna miss the boat. <laughs> uh, we're standing right here and we're gonna watch it launch. And I was tempted to buy the boat yard right before it launched, but eh, it's a little too cheesy. So we won't do that. Oh, there it goes. We go full immersion. That's pretty cool. Off she goes. Neat little mechanic. And I think it sails off. Sail off into the sunset. That's uh, morning, or well, that's no, afternoon, I guess. I think in other videos I've seen, I think it like turns and starts sailing away. At least eventually. Still waiting. <laughs> well, anyway. That's the boat launch. Uh, I've got some more done on the roller coaster as well that's coming along. Most just kind of drifting out there. But anyway, we'll see what happens. So it's got a, quite a bit of stuff here in stock. It's it's chugging away. Gonna be building the next boat. Just brought uh, a bunch of fabric over yesterday to get that finished off. So everything's going pretty well. Yeah, I was, I was hoping that would sail away, but it doesn't look like it's going to sail away for whatever reason. Anywho, let's, uh, let's go take a quick tour. I'm just going to hop back over here and get in the Mahindra. Did I ever get anything planted over here? I don't think I actually did. Lots of things to do. So I got a little bit of snow here through, I think it was Jan into January, beginning of February. Uh, it never did stick though. It finally got cold enough to stick, but it had quit snowing by then. So still no snow this winter, unfortunately. But we got some trees growing, so let's go take a look at that, and I'll show you what I've been working on. I did a little bit of a live stream over on Twitch, and I put that up on YouTube. Didn't catch that, though. We've been working a lot on the logging over here around the lake. And then after that, I got a, got a little bit of a surprise here for you. Surprise! <laughs> uh, I bought the big Volvo. I ended up selling my other harvester. I've been just making lots and lots of money logging this land off along with everything else. Uh, so I got the big Volvo with the harvester head and it's it's working really well. It's beefy. I think it can do up to like 80 centimeter trees. And uh, yeah, you can just haul them right out of there, no problem. So I've been logging a little bit with that. That's working out great. And all this along here, we got logged off on the uh, Twitch stream. As well, it's got some cleanup done. And if we look up here, trees are starting to grow in. Now there's not a whole lot of difference in the growth stage. Like these just kind of appeared at this stage. They don't gradually go up, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, but all those trees are coming in on that hillside there. And the ones over here are coming along. These uh, pine are really slow growing. So the lodgepole has actually overtaken them. But I'm pretty sure these went from like nothing to this size. At least I didn't notice them over here. Really dramatic growth, but you can see that slope's full. The far slope over there is full. So those seem to grow really, really fast. Which is good because we've 
We've been cleared out a lot of trees. That's for sure. Got one more little thing of fabric down there, it looks like. So we got the boat launched. That's awesome. What else are we going to do today? Well, I think we're going to go up and get some stuff at the sawmill. Oh, I built a log bridge down there. Let's go take a look at that real quick. So we'll see. I think next episode, uh, we might be building a road. I've got it kind of cleared out because this road here is too steep. This was always meant to just be temporary. Uh, but I think I'm going to do some dirt work in here and we'll just go up there and then across the bridge. And that'll be our, our way to the farm. I think that will work out. Uh, so we may do that next episode. This episode, I want to get the pickup. I just, I've got equipment scattered everywhere. I got to remember where I left the pickup truck. I think it's actually back at the, uh, farm. Well, here, let's, let's drive the, uh, the rough cut. I kind of went through and cut down all the, the trees and ground the stumps and stuff. So I think we're going to come up along here. I'm going to cut some of this dirt out right in here and then just make a road right up to the bridge here. And it's going to be a, quite a bit less steep. A little easier to manage. I just can't get over how quick those trees grew. <laughs> it's just like, spring, here they are. Because I was wondering, like, man, those things are really slow growing because they hadn't done anything at all. I was using this for wool. That was a little too heavy. I had a pallet of wool in the back of the retriever and almost couldn't steer. It's making the, the tires pretty poochy. The trailer held up okay. Uh, and then I even had, see, one, two, three, four, five. I think I had five pallets of fabric on here. And the little trailer did just fine. So we've got quite a few uh, planks and long planks up at the old sawmill. So I want to get those down here and we'll see. They might go to the roller coaster. Not quite sure yet. Either be the roller coaster or the boat yard. But it's been a while since I've been up there. So let's go grab some stuff. Kind of looking forward to spring. It's it's been brown and green enough here. And still got a lot of trees. Lots of trees. I've been logging like crazy. Still got plenty of trees. Let's make sure we're not going to get smacked by a train. Following a little close there. Uh, actually, we got a bunch of floor tiles too. Maybe we'll grab those on the way back if we have any room. Everything's chugging along pretty well. But I'm thinking I will buy the boat yard. Like I said, I was going to buy it right before the boat launch, but that just felt a little too cheesy. So let's go get some supplies. We'll come back down and we're going to buy the boat yard. After I give them some stuff, if they need it. <laughs> I'm really curious uh, what we get for a boat on hard mode. I'm smoking up through here. No traffic. Alrighty, let's pull in here. We'll get some planks loaded up. Uh, where'd that come from? I 
That's planks. Why is that doing over here? That's weird. Okay. Well. I was going to actually try loading with the forklift. I've had okay luck with these pallets and this forklift, but the other like heavier pallets of things tend to make things uh, cartwheel. Let's go ahead and get the trailer backed in here. Come on. Yeah, I think that should work. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that pallet. Uh, oh, good, we got some beams. I had to turn the beams back on. I I forgot the um, the was it the roller coaster? I think the roller coaster takes beams. I didn't think anything needed beams, but someday we'll get the roller coaster finished. So let's go grab this pallet of planks over here. Keep going back and forth on the uh, REA mods. I do have REA um, wheels and implements turned back on. Just to make things a little more interesting. I had center of gravity on for a while. Um, it just seemed to be causing some weird issues. So I turned that one back off, I believe. I forgot, since this is an autoload trailer, just grabs it, but that's that's okay. It'll save me trying to get it off the fork. Can we get two on here? Oh, well, sometimes it wants to do two. I think the forks need to be a little bit longer for it to really be okay with two pallets. And I think I've seen extended forks on the mod hub. I have not downloaded them. Gonna be weird on me? No, you're doing alright. Must have had some pallets queued up in storage, just popping them right back out. into it anyway. Oh well. So I, I like most of the stuff about REA wheels, but it does make things slide around a little bit. So I don't know. I might get tired of it again and turn it back off, but... So it pushed it over enough that it's not wanting to load over there. Okay. Will let me take this off? Well, not by running the forks into the trailer. Hey, Mr. Train. Let's try this again. No! <laughs> oh well.
I do like driving the forklift in Farmstone. It's very uh, relaxing. Yeah, these are just ending up all over the place, aren't they? Let's sort this out. Uh, let's see. Unload. Reload. There we go. So, three loads, or three rows of planks. Let's get some long planks now. spread out a little bit for those. Okay. That didn't work, did it? Well, some of these, it puts on a different direction. So we'll see how it does the long planks. Yeah, it wants to put those on that direction. That's fine. sure why some of those are not lined up. It's kind of weird. Yeah, this thing is full. It just popped them right out again. Uh, maybe I should have brought the, uh, the big flatbed up here. I think it will hold a little more. Go. Let's do. We're just going to put the beams crossways too. I don't know how many long planks we need. Uh, let's grab some beams. Now let's see. It might work better. Easier to line the forks up if we're on this side. Do we have room to get in here? Sort of. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so it does that. I don't know that it will load anything else on here. Why are those drifting off? Because farm sim? Yeah, I think that's pretty much all it will hold. We've got plenty of product up here. I may have to bring the, uh, the Mac and the big trailer up this way. And if the roller coaster and boat don't need it, we can always sell it. Or since we got so many, I could maybe rent the train. Make it worth paying the thousand bucks to rent the train. Alright, we're done with you. Good job, Manitou. Decent physics.
All right, train just went through, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's head on down south again. That's a pretty good load. Makes the truck sit up and pay attention. A little bit of squat on the rear axle there, but not too bad. Can handle it no problem. I'm going to use the cruise. We'll put it on about 45 unless I catch up to somebody. And it looks like we're going to catch up to somebody. It's bad the traffic drives so slow. That's pretty crazy. I don't know why they stop beside you. That's so weird. How about you just pull out in front of me there, Van? Let's swing by the roller coaster here and see what it needs. I don't want to give it anything if it doesn't need it, but I was thinking it needed beams. Uh, let's see. Required for next step. Yeah, it needs beams. We only have 212 in storage. It needs, yeah, it needs 5,000 liters of beams. Um, we're doing okay on planks and long planks, I think. So I just want the beams. How are we going to manage that? That could be a little tricky. Let's get our hazards on here. See if I can back up into the drop off point and just drop off beams. Then we'll go see what the boatyard needs. Um, I don't know if the straps need to be off. I don't think they do. There we go. Just gave it beams. Perfect. Alright, let's go see what the boatyard needs. I don't know if the AI traffic pays any attention to hazard lights, but I thought I'd put them on anyway. And use my turn signals when I remember. Alright, anybody coming? Nope. All good, so let's just sneak across here. And I'll run over and take a look and see what it needs. So, oh, you also need beams. Okay, so they both need beams. I don't know why I didn't think I didn't need beams. Uh, it's got plenty of planks and long planks, though, so we'll probably just go... we we'll just go sell these. Well, no, I guess we could fill it up. Uh, it's got enough metal for another boat, at least for this stage. It needs floor tiles, for sure. We'll have to get some more beams down here, though, too. All right, how's traffic looking? Pretty clear at the moment. Well, I'm planning on making more boats, so I might as well just fill up the storage with planks and long planks. We we'll definitely need them. Yeah, 
I think. I think that means that it's full. Yeah, it must hold just 14,000 liters of the those guys. So we need to head over to the market. Sell the rest of these. I'm not sure if the roller coaster needs them. I don't know how much it has to do, but it's got quite a bit in storage. So we'll just sell these at the market. And then we need to run over and get some floor tiles. Don't you want that pallet? Because it was sitting outside the cell. Alright, there we go. We got lots of money. Cool. Alright, let's go grab some floor tiles and give those to the boat. And then I think we'll buy the boat yard. And we'll just we'll give it materials for the next step it needs. Floor tiles are a little tricky. They don't really give you a place to turn in. Excuse me, ma'am. Coming through here. <laughs> so let's load those up. And there's not really a good way to get out of here. Just grind off some tires in their parking lot call it a day. Don't turn left. Don't turn left. Thank you. Came to a stop. Everybody saw that. Come on, TLX. Let's go. <laughs> I really like this truck. It looks good. It's not super OP like so many of them are. Sounds pretty good now that I adjusted the volume levels. Alright, how much floor tile do you want? You want all the floor tile? All right, excellent. I like it. All right, let's go buy a let's go buy a boatyard. One hundred twenty-five grand. Oof. <laughs> all right, we can no longer sell stuff to the boatyard, but we should get paid for a boat. I'm not sure how much. I believe it's 300,000 on easy and 180, or is it 300,000 on normal? I forget. Well, we'll see what we get on hard mode when the time comes. But it's got a lot more processing to do. Uh, it's got enough everything except wood beams, I think, right? Yeah, it needs some wood beams. All right, cool. No problem. We can get some wood beams. But anyway, I think that'll be it for this one. I think next episode we'll be building a road. I think that's the plan anyway, unless it's just too cold. Uh, we'll see how it goes. And of course, we've always got more logging to do. So we'll show off the new uh, excavator wood harvester. I call it an excavator. I guess it's just a tracked wood harvester. It's not an excavator because it doesn't excavate. You know what I mean. We'll show off the new wood harvester at some point. Either next episode or the episode after that, probably. So we're going to build a road. It's going to be great. Thanks, as always, for watching, folks. And I'll catch you in the next one. So ridiculously steep. That's why we need a new road. <laughs>